Hi, this is Scary Star Being with Scary's Wide World of Mystery. Hang on, let me turn down the music a little bit. Okay. Oops. This is my new garnet ball. I just wanted to show it to you guys. Isn't it lovely? I love it. It's got such a grounding, protective energy to it. I'm going to put it in my lap as I do the reading, okay? Alright. I believe we're doing Cancer right now. Hi, Cancer. How are you? I'm doing this entire reading by candlelight. Anyway, <laughs> just thought I'd show you my little, my cute little setup there. Maybe you might like it, who knows. This is for the new moon in Libra, happening on the 28th. I have a feeling it's going to be a big deal, especially for the cardinal signs, which you are one of the cardinal signs, Cancer. Okay, I'm feeling your reading. Okay, let me put my deck down. So the first card we have is Three of Cups. Um, I mean the obvious is that this looks like some sort of celebration or a wedding, okay? But I'm kind of getting, I'm kind of getting that there's something, it feels like the celebration is over. Does that make sense? Um, like maybe the honeymoon's over. And I don't know exactly what that might mean for you, but it could mean a number of things. It could literally mean that you just got off your honeymoon, okay, for some of you. And for others of you, it could mean trouble in paradise, okay? And I hope it's not that. <laughs> but, you know, Libra season is the season of karmic justice. Libra rules balance and justice, so if there's been anything that's been imbalanced, which a three kind of suggests that there's might be some imbalance, uh, then it will, it will definitely have to come into balance, and sometimes the way that that happens isn't always pleasant. Okay? You might have your first couples fight. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know your life, but... <laughs> Let me try to read it for you. <laughs> All right, three of hazards. So we have an, another three. All right. <sighs> interesting. This is really interesting. The reason why this is interesting to me. Okay, so cups is emotion, right? Water. So 
Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Three of Hazards is fire energy. So, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And Three of Wands can be can be about somebody not quite being I'm feeling like somebody is not quite present, okay? Because we see this guy right here with his skeleton pet, but you know, we also see this guy up here with his skeleton pet. So, it's almost like maybe somebody is a little preoccupied with possibly a third party all right this could be somebody that is outside of your marital bonds all right doesn't have to be an affair it could be fa a family member that is maybe causing some s some distraction okay i wanted to say stress but could also be a friend, could be, you know, a neighbor, whatever, but I'm really getting this feeling like somebody just isn't fully present in this scenario. Like, this guy appears to be here, but he's really o over here, okay? And here we have the Hierophant, okay? This is Card of Taurus. Um... Let's see if I can get it to focus on these creepy pair of eyes right there. I don't know if you can see them, but... Uh... I don't know what to make of that, but that's the first thing I noticed, and it is creeping me out, okay? <laughs> Maybe there is somebody who is kind of, um, creeping your profile on social media, okay. But the Hierophant card is about, is actually a card about, let's call it the Pope card, okay. So it's kind of a religious, traditional card. It's all about marriage and tradition and, you know, stuff like that. But I keep getting drawn into those eyes up there, okay. Almost like yeah, it's almost like there's somebody that's not really supposed to be there. Does that make sense? Like somebody is not supposed to be voyeuring even, okay? I'm getting an, a vibe of voyeurism here. And that can mean an awful lot of things, Cancer, right? Um, hopefully it's nothing like creepy, creepy. But I'm getting a creepy vibe, to be honest, but... Yeah, I'm really getting a creepy vibe. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't put it any other way. It's just creepy to me. I don't know what this... why this person thinks he has business here, okay? I don't know. You might wanna... You might want to make sure that you are closing curtains at night. Cancer? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea, alright? But the last uh, card is Eight of Swords. Whew. This is a heavy air energy. This is like being severely stressed out and feeling like you're stuck mentally about something, okay? This could be about something that somebody said. Okay, this could be about a fight or an argument that you're just ruminating over in your mind over and over and over again, okay? But whatever it is, it's it's got you trapped, okay? Look at this look at this poor fella. He's trapped. Like he doesn't he doesn't even know which way is up or which way is down at this point. He's just he just wants out. All right? But maybe if he calms down a little bit, he'll be able to see that, I don't know, maybe he can shimmy shake his way that way or that way. I don't know. Maybe he can move around some organs <laughs> and finagle his way out, you know, through a rib cage. Who knows? 
but, uh, yeah. I'm getting that somebody feels really trapped mentally about a situation. And, yeah, Libra season, Libra can be, I call it the my sign of OCD, alright? Libra's all about balance, so... I was diagnosed with OCD when I was a kid, and I had a weird tick. If I bumped one of my knees, I had to purposefully bump the other one, because otherwise it didn't feel right. I know, that's weird, right? But <laughs> that was one of my OCD tics that I had. I would, I would injure myself just to feel balanced, I guess, but... And this is kind of a self-inflicted injury too, you know? ruminating over a situation but I don't know whatever it is I hope you can come to some clarity over it I'm almost compelled to pull cards for you like more cards just to see if I can give you any clarity and you know what I haven't done this for any other sign but I'm curious now I want to know what has you stuck in your head <laughs> all right all right, please tell me what the Eight of Swords is about. Oh, the cards are getting sticky. Ooh, this might be juicy, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not going to try to spill any hot tea here, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to help it if I want to help you. You know what I mean? I'm not generally a nosy person, nor am I judgmental, so no worries. Okay. Ace of Swords. So yeah, phew, that's all I can say about this is breakthrough, okay? You're going to, you're going to experience a breakthrough and I'm guessing that this is going to come from surrender, okay? You're going to, you're going to overthink something so much that you mentally exhaust yourself and then you come to the conclusion that, ah, it wasn't that big of a deal after all or it wasn't that big of a problem after the all or the solution was so easy it was right in front of my face 1221 you might want to google that number <clears throat> all right cancer as always i am wishing you the very best i hope you guys have a wonderful new moon experience i will talk to you later bye